Hello and welcome to the Nexus. We're doing issue 58 of our Dodge Charger build. We're starting uh, the roll cage, but first we've got to concentrate on installing the dashboard. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install part of our roll cage i think over the next couple of issues i think that's what we're going to be concentrating on and then what we'll do is we'll attach the dashboard to the interior of the car at uh, after this so this is die cast which i'm really surprised about um just there so yeah i'm quite actually i'm quite surprised with that and then i do believe this part goes here yep so uh, as you can see there is a raised section so if i do it like that you can see it as well there's a raised section so we need the raised section to be facing us and then we're going to grab our one support bar here and we're going to use a pm screw from this side and we're going to secure it in there there is one now there is two ways you've got the uh, the flat end uh which is sort of um hang on so we've got a, a bottom end like this let's not focus in there we go and we've also got an end which is like that we're going to use this end and that is going to sit so this part comes out and this part is going to sit just in there like that and we're going to use a pm screw and we're going to secure it in from that end so that's what i'm going to do now okay and there we go and that's how that sits obviously this is going to sit at the back slightly and this will obviously attach somewhere to the back when we come to installing the cage onto our car but that is where we are at this stage uh so you need to place this somewhere uh secure uh but somewhere easy to grab obviously uh, we're now going to turn our attention to the dashboard, so let's get everything we need to do that. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. So, we're going to have the interior and our dashboard. And in the last issue, we had a pack of um, screws that we didn't use. These are CP screws. I'm just going to grab them out. But we still need to keep this little section here. We're not using that in this issue. I'm just going to keep that secure in there. So we've got the uh, CP screws, and what we're going to do is we're just going to attach this on like that. So we're going to use CP screws to secure it in, in the four screw holes here, and also with the two on either side on the supports just there. So that is what I'm going to do now. There we go. That is the end of issue 58. Uh, our dashboard is in and our roll cage. So... Um, yeah, that's in. <laughs> Bit of secure. Uh, so that is fully in now. Everything still works. It's always good to make sure they all work. But the dashboard is nice and in now. And the roll cage will sit just in here when we come to fitting it. So it looks like the uh, the extended section just goes in to that hole there. But that's the mock-up that we've got so far in this uh, in this issue. So anyway, that is it. It's, it's coming along really slowly. Um, I don't know, I would expect there's a bit more to be done to the roll cage, probably a bit more around the door section here. Uh, there's definitely a more to secure it along the back here. Uh, I don't know what's going here. Maybe there's more to go on here. Um, I do know that we get the, the 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 main chassis of the car, so the back half of it. Uh, we get around issue 60, 62, somewhere around there. And um, so until then, I think we're gonna be working a lot on this roll cage. Uh, and there's a few other bits. We still need to put the steering wheel in. But we still haven't attached this to the actual body of the car yet. So there's obviously still work to be done in this section. But anyway, that is it for this issue. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button. And as always, we'll see you at the next video. See you later.